Hi everyone. Here's a um, quick little tutorial video on how to determine a gear ratio in a rear end if it's not marked or you can't find any markings. Um, you do not have to have the wheels off. I just happen to have them off on this one, but you do have to disconnect the drive shaft. So first thing I do is I position the drive shaft yoke um, either horizontally like that or vertically like that and I position it so that it's level. And then I will go to one wheel or the other and mark something on the wheel or mark the position of a lug bolt. Um, and uh, so you see this one, this top lug bolt is lining up right with that end of the um, brake cylinder. And then you just start turning this, all right? So I do a half a turn at a time. Okay, so that's a half a turn. That's a whole turn. One and a half. Two. And look where my lug bolt is. It looks like it's about 75% of the way around the circle. Okay. I'm going to bring this lug back to its original position. So that's two and a half. And now we're at roughly two and three quarters turn up front on the yoke. That makes it a 277. If when this bolt had returned to its original position, that had turned exactly three times, that would be a 3.0. I doubt, I don't know if there's one out there like that. But a 345 would be really close to three and a half turns on the yoke. So that's essentially what they're talking about. How many times the yoke turns? For every time the wheel turns and then the last thing i want to show you it might be hard for me to film this is how to determine if a rear end is a pause attraction or a limited slip so let's see if i can reach over here i'm going to, I'm going to turn the wheel that you can't see i'm going to turn it forward and that one that you can see there is also turning forward now i'm going to turn it backwards and so both sides are turning in the same direction at the same time that indicates a limited slip or pause attraction rear end. If they turn in opposite directions, then you have what's called an open differential. This particular differential that we're looking at here is a GM standard 10 bolt from a 1987 Camaro. So it's pause attraction with 277 gears, did not come with disc brakes, and it is not the Borg Warner um, Australian rear end. Thanks for looking.